Hello my lovelies, it is Wednesday and you're watching The Biggest Beauty Project. This week's topic is books and it is brought to you by the lovely Caitlin. Um, I think this is a great topic this week because I'm trying to read a lot more. Um, so I need suggestions from people on what to read because I read a lot of stuff and I'm trying to branch out into new stuff. Um, also, I'm trying to read 50 books this year, um, 50 books in 365 days, and it's not going very well so far because here we are, February's almost over, and I've only read two and one half books. So, yeah, um, I know that when we get a little bit closer to um, June, so probably in June I'm going to start reading all the Harry Potter books again because I have to read every single one of them before a movie comes out. It's just the way I am, so I have to start reading them again. So I know that's going to be seven right there, so that'll be nice. But <clears throat> um, what I am reading right now is... Um, the Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood. This is the book, the very lovely, very worn copy that my friend Sarah let me borrow. Um, it's it's very loved, and I know it is because she she loves this book, and I can see why. It's absolutely lovely. Um, if you've seen the movie, throw the whole movie away because the book is so much better, um, as is usually the case. Um, I'm only to chapter 13 right now, and already there's so many wonderful anecdotes and stories and touching parts and parts that make you want to cry, and <sighs> it's just a great book. I think you should read it, um, especially if you're a southern girl like me. Um, you would definitely get something out of it. If you love Gone with the Wind at all, you will, you will love reading this book. So definitely a recommendation for you guys. The book I read before that, what is this one? And that is Songs of the Humpback Whale by Jodie Pickle. She is probably another one of my favorite writers. Um, no, I'm not going to say probably. She is one of my favorite writers. And I was also introduced to her by the lovely Sarah. Again, <laughs> Sarah is my, my book guru, I guess you could say. Um, she got me into Harry Potter. She got me into Jodie Pickle. And she's the reason why I'm reading Yaya yeah, yeah, Sisterhood. So, um, this book was quite lovely. Um, not my favorite one of Jodi Picoult because there's a lot of other ones out there that I love a lot, like um, Second Glance. You should definitely look that up, especially if you like ghost stories, um, because it's got a, like, a creepy factor to it, but really, really heartwarming at the same time. Of course, another one of her books that I love a lot is My Sister's Keeper. That was the first one that I read of hers. And again, if you've seen the movie, throw that completely out and totally disregard it. Yeah, it was an alright movie, but that's not what the book was about. Um, it was and it wasn't. Read the book. Other than that, yeah, I'm trying to branch out and read some new stuff. So if you have some suggestions, I like fiction mainly. I'm, I'm not a big fan of nonfiction. I just, I can't get into it. I like the escapism of books, honestly. Fiction books are great. Um... I like some sci-fi fantasy. Um, I really like like thriller, drama type of stuff. I love books that make you cry. I <laughs> I love Harry Potter, and I liked Twilight. And so, I mean, something along those lines, I can read that too. But, yes. <laughs> I guess that's all that I need to talk about this week, about books. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely week. And I hope it continues to get greater. And I will see you all next week.